Yeah, um, I think I started out camp pretty good. I think I did I did some really good things. Started out fast, and uh, in the scrimmage, I missed like one or two throws at the beginning, and then I caught rhythm, and I started getting a little groove. And then, uh, but as a whole offense, man, I've been really impressed. Our wide receivers, our tight ends, running backs, O line, the O line, man, the scrimmage just pounded people. And our offense right now is just, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're doing good. So today was more of a recovery day, and then tomorrow y'all jump back into it, probably take a little off Friday and the screen of Saturday? Uh, I think so, yeah. I've honestly just kind of been going day by day. I don't even look at the schedule for the next day until I get in bed at night. But um, I, I would assume that's how it's going to be. How important is Saturday for you guys? Uh, it's really important, man. I mean, but. It's not as important as today is right now. So that's really just one thing Coach Morris has been preaching to us. So when we get to Saturday, it's going to be very important. But right now, I'm just trying to take it day by day. We still have the rest of the day meetings and stuff. And then then tomorrow we have practice, which is going to be the uh, just as important when it's tomorrow. So just, we, just t we take them day by day. Anything you can attribute to start Saturday that you had to? Uh, no, I mean, I just came. I mean, it happens, man. I just came out came we had, and we had a uh, we had some offensive linemen that like Austin Capps moved offensive linemen who's never played off well he's played in high school but since in college like he hadn't and uh, and really they they did a phenomenal job anyway so it really didn't even matter but I just it's one or two throws I just barely missed and stuff but then I came back and caught rhythm are you trying to separate yourself I know that coaches said there's not a lot of separation in the QB room so how are you trying to do that uh, really, just day by day, trying to be the best leader I can be, because that's the most important thing for a quarterback is to uh, be a leader. He's got to be a, a coach on the field and be an extension of the coach. So that's really what I'm just trying to be. I'm trying to be a sponge when I'm around Coach Craddock and Coach Morris, and just take some of their lessons and some of the experience that they have, and just trying to be able to spread it around with my teammates. You think that's you're continuing to build that repertoire with your teammates? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Who are some receivers you feel like you're really clicking with? Uh, well, even an extension from spring, really, man. Uh, LaMichael Petway is a beast. Uh, Mike Woods is doing good things. Now we got Chase Harrell who's doing good things. Uh, Davion Warren, Jared Cornelius. I mean, it's a list, man. John, Jonathan Nance, Jordan Jones is doing good. Deion Stewart has been, has been hurt, but he was doing good things. Gary Cross has come along a lot. I mean, it's, I could keep going all day, but they really are. We are wide receivers, man. They're 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 special. It, it looks like Gary and and Tobias both have gotten a lot of first team. And Tobias, there, there's there another one. Yeah. Is there something to that? Are they just like emerging. <clears throat> um. I mean, a lot of us didn't expect that. Well, uh, I know Mike Woods and Michael Petway are uh, nursing some little some little. Uh, I don't even want to say injury, but some little, you know, stuff. And uh, so that's why I told Tobias has been going with the ones a lot. And, I mean, Gary, Gary Cross is a freak athlete, man. His testing numbers are, I, I like, just something I've never really seen. And now he's starting to put it together with how he plays. And uh, he's having a great camp right now. So that, that might have something to do with them. But I, I mean, as far I don't really know. That's just from my point of view. So you might want to ask Coach Step about that.